Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing to you my February birch box. This is my second month having a birch box. I'm still really enjoying a lot of the products from my first birch box so I'm really excited to see what I get in this box. Um, firstly, adore the packaging. I'm so happy that they haven't gone down the traditional Valentine's route and covered it in hearts because it's kind of makes it the box really unusable for the rest of the year but they've still like incorporate the pink theme but not really tackily um i love the little packaging that it's in a little drawer it means you can just sit on your desk and like store pens and pencils or beauty things in it but i'm going to stop rambling and open it and see what i got this month so as we open it oh there's lots of pretty things in there let's have a go so the first thing that catches my eye is this um eyeshadow palette it is a pop beauty bright up your life eyeshadow trio in champagne mocha i love these kind of colors i've not looked at them yet but champagne mocha kind of colors like the really earthy browns and shimmery like champagne colors are my cup of tea oh, they always come with these little applicators and nobody ever uses them so there's no point in them look at these colours how nice are they I love this like champagne colour here for all over the lid and these are just like my eyeshadow colours in one palette and this is like a dream palette for me I've been using the Tiny Bear Cosmetics like quad that I got last year I think it's in Enchanted Dreams or something and it's just started to run low so this is like perfectly timed the colours are shimmery, they're definitely not matte, but they don't have really big flakes of glitter in, so they're a really good everyday kind of eyeshadow. So I might give those a go tomorrow for work. Let's put them down. Then we've got this bottle of whatever it is, let's have a look. It is a One Plus Daily Moisture Conditioning Spray. It provides an instant detangling and a supple surface feel while conditioning and conditioning dry and damaged hair so it's obviously a leave-in all day conditioner that you spray on once your hair is dry it's by beaver professional again brands not my strong point if i can find any of these i will link them down below um let's have a little sniff because i can't stand products that aren't that smell icky and are going to annoy me all day that smells actually really nice and it smells like not like hairspray but it smells like a standard hair product it hasn't like had an artificial smell added to it like I hate perfumey hair products because they just annoy me and like compete with the perfume that I've actually got on so that smells really nice and it's not offensive I'm really looking forward to give that a go because my hair could do with some TLC right now. Next up is this. I'm not even going to attempt to say this brand because it is a French brand and I am bound to get it completely wrong. So if someone can tell me how to say this, snap me it or whatever, all my links to social media down below, it will be very, very grateful. Because the I think I got some kind of product from this in last month's Birch Box as well. So this looks like a perfume. Oh, it's not. It is not a perfume. I was convinced this was going to be a perfume. It is a multi-purpose dry oil, face, body and hair. Um, for face, body and hair. It nourishes, repairs and beautifies. Beautifies. We like the sound of beautifies. So let's have a little smell of this. Because again, I hate offensive, like really pungent smells. Mmm, that smells quite pretty. Let's have a go of it on the back of my hand to see what it's like so it's definitely like an oiled consistency as it says on the tin um it actually soaks in really nicely into the skin so i might try and use it on my face to increase my moisture because my skin's been really angry lately and really sore and red so i need to kind of introduce some moisture into my um skincare routine because the weather's been absolutely horrendous lately that smells really nice and it's got into my skin really well it's not really left like an oily residue or anything so i'm really looking forward to giving that a go i don't tend to use oils on my face and things but i will definitely try that out because it might be what my skin needs at the moment so what else have we got in here ah 
this was a sneak peek from last month let's get it out it is a spectrum brush in 900 or c06 i think it's c06 depending on which way up you read it um it is a eyeshadow brush it has got a little rose gold detail on the handle it is beautiful i love brushes i am really into growing my brush collection at the moment it's so soft <laughs> um i don't know what else i can say about a brush apart from i love it and i can't wait to use it it's a really big thick like eyeshadow brush so it's gonna be really good for blending and like getting into the crease so i love that more brushes in birch boxes please because i like them then the final thing that we have got is this kimon potentially face mask um it is a hydrating therapy face mask perfect for what i need at the moment um revitalizing and cleansing there is one mask in here it is made in korea um i'm thinking it is one of the like paper masks that you put on your face very scary never done one before the hydration therapy face mask has been created to help you recover from the stresses and strains of everyday life that causes your skin to feel greasy dry and tired the specially formulated serum is derived from mulberry extract and enriched with vital vitamins which rehydrate and revitalize your skin from first use and how do you use it to maintain your skin in the best condition regular use of the face mask is recommended four to five times a month four to five two to four times a month so you leave this on for 25 minutes and you remove the mask and rinse your face with warm water i think i'm going to give this a go tonight in my lovely lush bath as i kind of become accustomed to on a sunday night and just pamper myself i'm really looking forward to using this because I've never used anything like this before. So that is everything that I got in my birch box this month. Um, the little cards at the bottom kind of give you sometimes a little sneak peek. They have given me some more information on the full size of the products as well. I like that they put these at the end of the box so you not kind of, it doesn't spoil the surprise. Um, and there is a sneak peek for next month and oh my days. Are they kidding me? Seriously? They are including the new Benefits Their Real Double the Lip lipsticks next month. So if anybody is wanting to try one of their lipsticks, subscribe to Birchbox. You will be getting one next month. I can't believe they're including those. They're like brand new out. <laughs> That's mind blowing to me. Anyway let's end this video but before i go if you've enjoyed my birch box or if you are an american watching my birch box video because i am living in the uk and you want to know what is in a us birch box or you just want to watch more birch box hauls um i would like to send you over to my friend's channel uh, erica moulton as she has just uploaded her birch box for february and she is living in the united states so it gives you a comparison between the two different countries and the different kinds of products that you get between the two countries um so i will link her video up here and you can go over share her some loves tell her yes i've sent you and yes because she is fantastic but that is by my birch box for february thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe comment and like and i will see you all in my next video on thursday bye for now i'm gonna be myself or i could be someone I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes, I just wanna feel alive, it's just what I do when I'm out so